Hello again and welcome to video two in our measurement series. Today we're going to look at relating the metric system to the imperial system. First of all, let's begin with a little recap of the metric system. Um, another name for the metric system is SI or SI units, which is short for System International, which just refers to that it's the International System of Measurement. Um, the metric units of measurement that we're going to be looking at is millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. There are other types, just like with imperial, but we're looking at length, the measurements of length, so that's the ones we're going to look at today. And metric conversions, um, your science teacher will kick your butt if you don't remember these, but anyway, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, one meter is, an, is also, I'm sorry, one meter is 100 centimeters, and then one kilometer is 1,000 meters, and we can break those then down further if we needed to. Metric to imperial relationships. Okay, so this is the big topic of the lesson today. So you can see on my chart on the left is imperial units to SI units. I'll highlight that. Okay, so one inch is approximately 2.54 centimeters. So it doesn't translate nicely, really. Um, that's why we'll have to kind of have estimates here. And the um, x, the equal sign with a line over top really just means it is an estimate. Okay, or an about, approximate is what I actually should say. That was the word I was thinking of. I'm sorry, approximate, okay? Meaning it's not exact, but it's really close to that. And we've rounded the numbers just so it's a little bit easier for our calculations. So one foot is about 30 centimeters, or you could say 0.3 of a meter. One yard is approximately 90 centimeters, uh, or uh, or 0.9 of a meter. And then one mile is roughly 1.6 kilometers. The other way to go SI units to imperial. Now the thing about imperial is imperial works with fractions only, so your final answer should always be in fraction form if there is any extra. Um, and then with decimal, you sorry, with uh, metric you can use decimals. Um, anyway, one millimeter is like four one hundredth of an inch, so very tiny. One centimeter is like four tenths of an inch. One meter is about thirty nine inches or three and three and one quarter feet. And one kilometer is about six tenths of a mile. Okay, so we're going to be converting between the systems. Once again, you're gonna, I'm gonna teach you using proportion, and then the math facts. Well, the math facts will come from that chart. So um, hopefully, you printed out the video sheet that accompanies this, and then you can have those uh, chart with you. If not, you can just uh, maybe pause the video or go back and copy that chart down because that's super important. Okay, so. 17 feet to meters. Okay, so we want to go feet to meters. So uh, we need a math fact. So we can look at our feet to meters fact or meters to feet fact. It doesn't really matter. Um, when I did it the first time, I went feet to meters. So I was saying, okay, whoa, I should get out of blue just in case you can't see that. Oh my gosh, did it again. Okay, one foot is approximately 0 0.3 meters we talked about. I know I have 17 feet. So I'm wondering how many meters that would be. So 1 times x equals 17 times 0 0.3. x equals 5.1. And what are we looking for again? Meters. So um, again, there's shortcuts. If you just could figure that out for yourself, well, you have 17 feet and 1 foot is about 0 0.3. Uh, meters, so you just multiply those together. That's by all means go for it. Okay, let's look at example B. Uh, five miles to kilometers. So again, I can get my math fact for miles to kilometers, or I can go from kilometers to miles. Uh, miles to kilometers looks a little bit nicer, so that's why I went with it. So what am I talking about? Well, it was one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. The other fact was uh, one kilometer is six tenths of a mile, which when you're working this conversion, instead of writing something like six tenths, I would write it as uh, the fraction, 0 0.6. Um, and then my final answer, if it was in imperial units, I have to make sure I convert any decimals back to fraction. But to convert them into a decimal for the calculation will be just fine. Anyway, that's not the method I chose to use. Um, I chose to go with one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. And then I know I have five miles. And I'm wondering how many kilometers that's going to be. Okay, and once you get your math fact in, nothing, uh, nothing else is new here. 1.6 times 5. 
So that equals eight. So it looks like five miles is approximately eight kilometers. Okay, meters to inches. So I'm going meters to inches. Um, then I would, you know, I can, I'm going to bounce to the SI units, the imperial units chart, and I can see that one meter is approximately 39 inches. So one meter, 39 inches. And I know I have 94 meters. So then how many inches do I have? And once I've got that set up, guys, then you don't really like to have to pay attention for the rest of this, this question because I'm just multiplying. Um, that should be, I think, 3,666 inches. All right. Our fourth and final example um, with this example, or this set of examples, however you want to refer to that, kilometers to miles. So this, I'm going to uh, go with that. So one kilometer, one kilometer right up here is approximately uh, six-tenths of a mile. Okay, so that as a fraction or as a decimal would be 0 0.6. So you can write that. I wouldn't, can't leave my final answer uh, if it's imperial, which it is. I'm going to miles. I can't leave that with a decimal. I'd have to convert that to a uh, fraction, but in the calculation, you can convert to a decimal. Not a big deal. Um, I have 183 kilometers. I'm wondering how many miles. So x equals 183 times 0 0.6. And again, if you just know to go 183 times 0 0.6, by all means, do that. So that's 109.8. But like I said, and that's miles. We're not going to leave our miles with a decimal. So I now I have to kind of figure out what's 0 0.8 as a fraction. Well, remember 0 0.8, that's tenths. So that's going to be then 8 over 10 and then you could reduce it to to four fifths that's what I would do so my answer then becomes 109 109 miles and a and four fifths of one so 109 and four fifths of a mile all right so we're not going to leave imperial units with uh, decimals we got to convert those to fractions okay which one is larger so uh, sometimes you lose the scale or you just lose, you don't know which is bigger. Um, so that's what this question is practicing. So what's bigger, 62 miles or 98 kilometers? Well, first of all, when they're in different units, you likely don't know. So you got to pick a unit to convert them both into. So maybe you want to put them both in miles. Maybe you want to put them both in kilometers. Um, I'm a Canadian guy, so I think I'm going to convert both mine to kilometers. So again, I can use my proportion. So I'm going to be going from miles to kilometers. So I'm going to go with my imperial to SI chart. So one mile is 1.6 kilometers. I have 62 miles. I'm wondering how many kilometers. And then I just multiply. 1.6 times 62 which is 99.2. 99.2 is slightly bigger, so I know that 62 miles is the larger amount. All right, so same tactic over here in B. It says 1.74 meters or five foot six inches. Okay, so again, being Canadian, I kinda, well, truly with heights, we in Canada, there's a great example. In, in heights, everybody talks feet and inches. So Canada is kind of a hybrid between it. Officially, we're metric, but we definitely use um, imperial a lot. Anyway, I'm still going to convert my feet and inches into uh, meters to compare. So the first thing I'm going to do is I just want to figure out how many total inches I have. So uh, five feet, six inches. A way, an expression to figure that out would be 5 feet. Well, there's 12 inches in a foot, so 5 times 12, and then plus my 6 leftover inches. So that's going to be 60 plus 6, which is 66 inches I have. After that, now I can get into my proportion. I want to go um, inches to meter. So I know that uh, 1 meter is 39 inches so I'm kind of using the other chart because it's just kind of nicer I'm using the SI to Imperial even though I'm actually trying to convert things um, into metric anyway 
Uh, one meter equals 39 inches. And I know I have 66 inches, so I'm putting it on the bottom. So that's kind of different from what I've been doing. And I'm wondering how many meters that's going to be. So um, I still a proportion. I still just multiply everything out. So 39 times x, 1 times 66. I want to get x by itself, so I have to divide both sides by 39. Uh, x equals, so 1.69, so 5 foot, 5 feet 6 inches is approximately 1.69 meters, and then I can tell, okay, well, actually, then 1.74 is larger. Okay, so hopefully you can see that this is really a continuation of that first video, that if you are good with a proportion, you're going to find a lot of this material easy. Uh, the thing you have to keep straight is your conversion, so you want to study that chart, keep that chart close. Um, on your test, you're going to be able to have this chart with you. I'm not going to make you memorize them, but uh, you'll, need be able, you'll need to be able to find things fast. All right. Um, if, you, if, they, if you are having trouble, gosh, I'm having trouble speaking. Anyway, if you're having trouble, make sure you talk to me. Have a great night. Goodbye.